So with the Remy Jack stuff, he's responded and he is basically slamming the hell out of Remy and accusing him of being a liar. Hey guys, it's Morab Ali back at it again. It is daily and consistent content injected. Let's get straight into this quick mess. Um, Cause I can't lie, I feel like this whole situation is running stale. The tea is stale now. Like it's just, cause we know that Jax is just doing an, a nonsense. Anyways, he says, I'll adjust Remy's story to the truth now. Don't, wa don't worry, just what everybody wants to hear. And we'll start by the big lie following him home. Can't believe he's even put that but I understand why, because it sounds bad. And everyone starts thinking straight away, no way that happened, that's disgusting. But it was actually 30 yards from the club. Uh, I didn't begin to start argument. I wanted answers from him as I got a voice note on Instagram from some lad night, one night saying he was talking to Remy and he's been telling people that he's going to kick the S out of me when he sees me. So I just wondered if he wanted to or not. So I can clarify, it wasn't about the Love Island beef at all. Saying I can't move on, but he's the one that has been dragging my name on podcasts since leaving the villa, even trying to make distracts about me when I just let it all slide because it was quite embarrassing from him. Finally, just to clear up, I was not physically involved in anything that happened. Only thing I did was do was jump in the middle and not let both lads fight. Um, just trying to make it um, make it look a lot worse than what it was and trying to tarnish my name. I feel like I had no other option but to have my say seen as though a lot of people have actually believed him. But he's just admitted it though. So I don't understand what he's... I'm very confused by this, but he's personally just admitted that he tried to get into um, and stop Jax's friend Remy actually fighting, which corroborates what Remy was saying and that Jax's friend tried to jump him. So he's basically confirmed that. Um, so odd. Um, Remy actually responds and says, first of all, Jax, you and your friend followed me end off. Whoever sent that voice note is obviously lying because I ignore you every time I see you. You know I've tried to keep it civil. On the night of the assault, you asked me you're scared of me. Why do you ignore me every time I see you? And I told you, like I said before in the villa, if I don't like you, why should I speak to you? I deleted my things and moved on. Remember, this was all back in August. I never said you was involved in the fight. I clearly said your friend punched me. Lastly, I don't want to hear anything about mental health from you again. Bloop, the fakest person I've ever met. Bloop, give your friend up to the police. Bloop, not give your friend up to the PC Billy child. But yeah, okay, Jax is confusing me because he basically confirmed what Remy has said in that, you know, you're trying to stop. He's saying, oh, I didn't follow him down the road. It was 30 yards from away from the club. So you've admitted that you followed him, regardless of whether it was five minutes down the road, child, or one minute, you followed him. Number two, you wanted to clarify about a voice note that you heard of somebody claiming to be Remy's friend. Well, then play the voice note, number one. Number two, the voice note isn't directly from his voice. So you going up to him and asking him and clarifying this is goading him, is provoking him, because you know that the conversation is going to be intense and you didn't need to do that, number two. Number three, you also then confirmed that, you know, a physical altercation did take place or attempted to, and you tried to stop it. Either way, that's your friend trying to jump him. So you've basically confirmed everything that Remy was even saying in his statement. So what was your statement about? If anything, it's really just helped him and has basically confirmed that you were acting a mess trying to provoke him. Provoking mentalities, provoking behaviors, and then, you know, hands are clean or trying to claim hands are clean. You've said him, you said that he's a liar, yet you've confirmed everything that he's saying. So it doesn't make any sense. But you know, this is what Jack probably was doing, provoking him, walking up to him, asking him provoking questions. And then his friend knowing what's going on, following him around and then trying to jump. Very unnecessary guys, very unnecessary. Especially this was, this is like old T, old B from way back in, way back when. So, you know, I just hopefully, I don't know, I feel like Jack's statement didn't really do anything for him. He tried to slap him and call him a liar and it just didn't make any sense. But I feel like the mental health game is very selective on people that do not look like me. Mental health game does not work for people who do not look like Remy. It only works for people who look like Jack's. That's it. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes, especially in the UK. It, it, it doesn't do anything for us. Like we don't get that same pedestal um, to not only explain ourselves, but to have the same treatment, the same response. Everything is all different all different because it's just all subconscious and it's just frustrating um that you know Jax became a poster boy of mental health considering that he did provoke people not only in the villa but also Tasha multiple times outside as well and now also Remy multiple times as well there are multiple people this person is the common denominator um so I'm not going to speak any more on this because I feel like it's just old tea and I just feel like you know I just feel like people don't really care about it and yeah, let's just hope that it ends here and nothing else happens and Jax doesn't try to do anything else foolishness. Anyways, let me know your thoughts. I want to come to this quick, quick um, video. Subscribe to the channel. This was just a minor update on the situation. I thought I would just speak on it. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.